Hey guys, it's Big Squid here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's episode, I've been kind of like wanting to do this for a while, so I'm just gonna do it today. And uh, these are just some Jeffree Star Cosmetics dupes. I'm gonna attempt to dupe most of them with the stuff I have at home. So keep watching. All right, so the first one I want to talk about is, of course, his blood sugar palette. The one that broke the internet, although according to him, like all his palettes broke the internet. It is a uh, warm tone, uh, pinky, reddish, with some neutrals in it. And honestly, I had it and I've since decluttered that palette. I've decluttered pretty much everything I had of his, like... I want to say when the cremated palette came out, I just decided to give it all away because I didn't really want to show his stuff on YouTube. And every time I do my makeup is either for YouTube or Instagram. And I just don't feel right promoting his stuff because everything that has come to light, it just didn't sit well with me. And I want to recommend products that I think are ethical and I just didn't feel that way about his products. Like you can say like his products are amazing and they're the best ever and like, are they, are they really, I mean, they're decent and it really, it was what like his brand was what got me more into makeup, but I've since like found better products. I can say. So anyway, I'm just gonna stop rambling and talk about um, this palette here, which honestly is a perfect dupe. The comparison swatches were just like pretty much the same. And this one is far better. I, if I'm gonna be honest, like I didn't really like the blood sugar palette. I found, I found the shades weren't performing as nicely as everyone said they were like they were kind of chalky they were very like hard and powdery sometimes like I remember the lower like the bottom row I just couldn't work with those colors like there were a few shades that I did really like but yeah I don't understand why it was so expensive and this one is about half the price and performs a lot better in my opinion plus you get two um, Midas Cosmetic is, Midas Cosmetics is a, um, Afro-Latina owned brand, and you'd be supporting Smoky Glow Hannah on YouTube too, which I really like. She does, like, really interesting commentaries and makeup reviews and stuff, and I don't know, it's pretty much the same, and this formula is far superior and just much easier to work with and like the duochrome and shimmers in there are so much nicer. The Alien palette. That was one of my favorites, so I really, I got it and I was unsure about the formula at first and I worked a lot with it, I really liked it. So this one was a little sad to let go, but um, I've since found better palettes. So I will show you which ones. Remember the inside of the Alien palette has a lot of like greens, a lot of purples, um, a lot of like grungy tones. So actually it doesn't have a lot of purples. I think it just has one purple. But I would say that this one here, um, the color story is pretty much, it's very, very similar anyway. Um, this one is mostly like satin and metallic finishes. Um, there's only one matte, which is right here. So when I do, I do really love this palette. And when I do use it, um, I have paired it with this one here, which is the Nomad by Juvia's Place. This is what she looks like on the inside, a lot more mattes. And um, you do again have a lot of these grungy tones, which are very similar to the ones in the Alien palette. And I just want to mention this tiny little quad, Macchiato by Midas Cosmetics, which 
actually these two are what I'm currently wearing on my eyes and these three are I mean you don't have to buy all three of them but um, it's just basically with what I have and I find that these three make a really really good dupe for the alien palette um, I do believe it, it's the alien palette is discontinued so if you're looking for something along that color story I would definitely suggest getting these or maybe just like I don't know if you want to grab the macchiato palette and the nomad palette or nomad and juvia's or juvia's and macchiato palette I mean a lot of grungy olivey mustard yellow tones in here which I really love the blue blood palette uh, which is another palette that I had and since decluttered I really didn't like it <laughs> again like the formula just was not it and not that I was afraid of blues, not at all. Like I think there were like maybe two or three shades that I liked and I wasn't using it. So I got rid of it and I didn't like it. I really didn't like it. And I really wanted to, and it was just a huge fail for me, but if you're looking for a blue palette, I would highly recommend the Whale Song palette by Menagerie Cosmetics. Um, it's not a perfect dupe of Blue Blood. There is um, some greens in here and yeah, so it's pretty much like a green blue palette. Uh, this one is a lot more wearable. Uh, the formula is miles better. Um, and yeah, I've just had a lot of fun looks out of this palette, which Again, like the looks turned out so much better than the looks that I did with the blue blood palette so if you're looking for a blue palette highly recommend this and um, I think it's my only blue palette actually the next one I want to mention is the jawbreaker palette which is like a rainbow palette there's some neon colors there's some pastel colors but yeah, if you're looking for a rainbow palette again Midas cosmetics flower bomb there she is like a lot of shades and um, honestly I found Jawbreaker was okay um, I did find that a lot of his shades were very powdery and they did blend well but it's like holy fallout Batman <laughs> but this one um, so much better there are a lot of um, press glitters in this palette so if you're not a fan like sorry this palette here as well PH cosmetics take me back to Brazil and this is what she looks like she's another rainbow palette and I've been enjoying this one the formula is pretty good and the price point is perfect actually these both of these palettes are really affordable so you could probably get both of these palettes for the same price as the jawbreaker palette if I'm I think I'm right yeah um I know there's a couple shades in jawbreaker like that like neon orangey shade this one here too which is pastel pup and this shade here snack is very similar to the shade I think is called fuck in jawbreaker but yeah so if you're looking for like pastel rainbow perfect pastel rainbow palette like again this is my favorite the bloodless palette I think the last palette that I bought from Jeffree Star was the Jawbreaker palette and the Mini Breaker um, and after that I decided to just stop purchasing from him I didn't want to support him anymore so I think that was around the time with the Jackie Ina incident I'm gonna get into that because I'm not a drama channel but I just want to mention like that's kind of why I stopped supporting him I don't have any dupes for conspiracy I was looking through my stuff and but honestly, like, I wasn't really a fan of the Conspiracy palette. I found that the color story didn't make much sense and it didn't really speak to me. So, like, even the Controversy palette, like, I didn't understand the color story. And then they added a green to it, which made it, like, so much worse. I don't know. I, I understand that they had, like, the neutral row and then the neon row and then the dark sultry room or whatever but it was just the execution was not it it was just ugly 
So I don't have any dupes for that because it's not a nice palette. That's just my opinion. If you like it, if you have nice looks out of it, like go you, but honestly, it didn't speak to me. So I can't dupe it because I don't want to. <laughs> I will um, say that I can dupe the Bloodlust palette and probably do a better version because honestly, it was weak sauce. Like, oh, it's a purple palette and it's mostly lilacs, a green and a blue, like what? So if you want purples, lilac you a lot, which is like, I love ColourPop's formula and the price point is perfect, so I just want to throw that out there. Like, this is a really, really lovely lilac purple palette, like, nine shades, they're all different. You can do, like, a bunch of cohesive look with looks with this, and very summery, very ethereal, and I've had a lot of fun with this one. Um, if you want, like, a more pinky purple, I would suggest the Sweet Violet. Again, price point really good. I think it's twenty under $25 for this, and the quality is really good. It's completely different from the Lilac palette. Um, and yeah, these purples kind of pull more on the, uh, like the pink side. I could almost say that this could be a good dupe for the Mini Breaker palette as well, so. Yeah, but this is a nice purple palette. I've really been enjoying this one. And if you're looking for like something a little bit more indigo purple, like Violet Ink palette by Menagerie Cosmetics, um, I've been enjoying the heck out of this one as well. Like I love purples and I love small palettes. So I'm like, I'm just gonna grab all the small purple palettes that I can and these are better than Bloodlust. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. And there's no random green shimmers or blue in it, which I don't get it. Like, you're gonna advertise a purple palette, like, just make a purple palette. Like, just make one. I don't know. Indie brands can do it, like, small indie brands. I'm still on the lookout for a palette that I can do um, cremated with. Um, I do love, like, black and grays and whites and shimmer shades and all that like it's a nice palette but it's a lot of grays and mostly I use like grays as an accent and if I'm gonna do like a goth look I'm gonna do like full goth and just black and like graphic liner kind of like Susie and the Banshees or something like I'm not gonna do like whatever the heck that was and I want to mention too that like there were a lot of like light gray shades in that palette and it just doesn't seem very inclusive because I feel like those shades would just look really really ashy on someone of deeper skin tone so anyway that's just my opinion yeah if you enjoyed this video let me know give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe uh, if you, I haven't done like dupes for highlighters or lipsticks, but I, if it's something that interests you, I can definitely make another video for that because I do have dupes for his lipsticks and highlighters. So, so yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.